Welcome to the Gentlemanly Art Of. Today, we are going to learn to tie a bow tie. A bow tie is a very versatile tie. It is the only acceptable formal tie in use. The only time you can use a straight tie is if you are wearing a morning coat with a winged collar like this. By the way, if you're wearing a bow tie with a winged collar, the collar should always go over the bow tie and not under the tie. So stay with us and let's learn how to tie a bow tie. Today we're going to learn to tie a bow tie. A bow tie is actually one of the easiest ties in the world to tie. Bow ties come with a size chart incorporated in them. Okay, So you always want to add a quarter of an inch to your neck size. So I wear a 16 neck, neck 16 collar, and therefore my ties are always set to 16 and a quarter. That extra length allows you more maneuverability with the tie. Okay, so we're gonna put our tie around our neck. We've lifted up our collar tie around our neck. And what we wanna do, and I'm gonna step back so you can see this, we wanna make the right hand side just slightly longer than the left hand side. As you can see, it's considerably about longer. Okay, then we want to take what's in your right hand, we want to cross it over the left hand, and we want to tuck it under. At this point, what you're going to do is you're going to tighten it to your collar to the tightness that you want that tie to be. Okay, at this point, we're going to fold the tie over, bringing the two small sides together. All right, now I'm going to move in closer to the camera so you can see what I'm doing right now. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to fold the tie, the part that's now in your left hand, over, making sure that it's straight. Now you've essentially created a hole underneath, okay? This is an interesting bunny hole that you've created here. And what you want to do is you want to make sure, okay, there it is. You see my fingers coming through it. And you want to make sure that you tuck Okay, this tie, the, red, the other side, through that hole. You tuck it through that hole, okay? When you've done that then, you have a loop for each finger, all right? And then you take these loops and you tug, all right? You tug. Now, it doesn't matter if it's messy, you begin to straighten. This is when you straighten and you mess, fiddle with the tie to make it court, work correctly. And there you go, voila, as the French say the tie is tied. Easiest pie. This is one of the easiest ties in the world to tie. It looks very simple, but it's not. Mystery solved. So you can go to parties and surprise your friends. You can untie the tie in front of them and retie it. You want to make sure both sides are balanced. You do that looking in a mirror. Okay, button your buttons. Now this tie, as I said earlier, is the most formal tie, but it is also the, probably the most informal tie at the same time. It's the most formal tie with formal wear, but it's the most informal tie uh, if you want to have that professorial look, or in fact in the summertime, okay, with a seersucker jacket. So it's a great tie to wear, it's very versatile, it's, it always makes you look very nice, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, what I'd like you to do is subscribe and click on the bell, okay? And then you'll always be notified about the uh, gentlemanly art of. Right, now gentlemen, if you are interested in health, wealth, and happiness, please check out Living Your Best Life 101 and their videos on health, wealth, and happiness. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time on The Gentlemanly Art Of, where we learn to tie the three types of straight ties. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.